Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, I will give a quick overlook about the Swiss gas mask model 90. That was from 1990, and uh, the manual of it is uh, not here, so I can't show you this one. Uh, would have been in, in a German anyhow, so most of you would not uh, see too much what would uh, help. Basically the gas mask 90 came into service as I was in the Swiss military. As I made the, the basic course back then we still had the older model which was uh, next to most of the other equipment that we had based on World War II or a Vietnam War, say the 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 funk the the funk stuff that we had was from USA from Vietnam War really heavy and uh, completely out of date even back then in in uh, 1990 and uh, yeah the the shoes we had were worse than World War Two I guess that was absolute terrible old heavy with nails on the on the lower side so so all in all it was not not uh, too much at all and the, the gas mask the older one did fit right into that gap as well uh, I have glasses and the that gas mask the older one you had this on it and if you want to shoot or see a bit more clear you there, there was no other way than to put a rubber band on the glasses and put it over the gas mask and then the helm the helmet uh, on top of it and all that it's hard to tell for a <laughs> for a, our our standards that we have in USA that sounds like a bad joke from from the 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 Russian military in World War Two or something like that. Nothing against the the Russian uh, people. Um, I know there we have a, a lot of friends over in Russia as well that collect Swiss Bianco items. So uh, I'm just saying it was terrible. So that gas mask 90 came, which we have here in uh, front. Uh, they did get a new material going a, a plastic kind of kind of tarp material that they use for uh, for the bag with uh, some non velcro closure so uh, that is the the main closure i'm going to open that in a minute on the back side we see for the the belt loop they had uh, those and on the side actually this part here with that frog, we, we call it frosh, the frog, uh, there the bayonet goes in. So they had, uh, in my opinion, absolute uh, great idea to put the, the bayonet on the, on the gas mask bag, you know. In uh, case you, you uh, have your, your gas mask not uh, with you or dropped or whatever, you know, you not even have, have the bayonet with you, the, the knife. But anyways, that, uh, that uh, was back then not ugly for us because uh, that was for the, for the 90 bayonet and uh, it was a bit of a mix of, of older closing, four, four color uh, camouflage military closing and the, the newer 90 stuff. So back then it was not completely transformed over so we never had uh, the bayonet on that uh, part. We had a secondary frog. Uh, a regular frog for our bayonet which uh, did go on the belt where it actually belongs but that's just a, a side note as we open it up we have first the filter uh, ABC Schutz filter 90 it's basically the yeah yeah it uh, has nice nice written on it SF 90 Schutz filter 90 darf nur bei Kriegsmobilmachung geöffnet werden. Uh, that basically say only only if the Swiss people go to war you can you are allowed to open that and uh, 
it says where you need to to uh, cut it open and they uh, actually such such filters you you find in USA pretty pretty common and uh, there's is not much a deal about it the the thread is a uh, 40 millimeter that I have to point out so any US military filter will go on the Swiss one so uh, that that fits is 40 millimeter is a uh, standard the Canadian ones, as best as I know, they use a different thread and there you need a, an adapter. I think it's 30 mm to 40 so uh, that's 10 mm in between. Anyways, then we open up. We basically have the gas mask in the bag and uh, here that is the, the frog that we did use uh, for holding the bayonet, same rubber rubber uh, material I just put it put it in uh, this pocket we see uh, quality of the of the item is not not uh, really well we have always a uh, little little uh, little uh, threads open threads that needs to be uh, flamed off and nobody did it uh, we have pockets up here whatever they did want to want to put in it in here that would be quite likely in the regulation but uh, it's a lot of pockets so that's about the, the bag itself then for storage and all that it is in a such kind of such kind of a device in a bag basically it's just a regular bag then inside we have the part that that uh, keeps the shape of the of the gas mask they had problems with uh, the rubber back then the the company that made those back then it's as best as I know it's no longer made for for quite a while uh, had a lot of uh, trouble and uh, I did contact them I think a year ago about uh, the thread and some other questions but uh, they did not want to help for a nickel so so it's another yeah poor poor uh, company in Switzerland there that is how that is but uh, I did completely switch to the US system so this is only for a uh, collection and uh, that's why I show you because uh, some some US people that say it's it's relative for the mask itself in uh, USA plus the, the man that had it in the in the military and all so so uh, that is is a different uh, different story that's why I show it so we have this device that keeps the, the shape so hopefully it, it's not gonna break the the bag itself is soft right it is not not solid if you uh, fall on it or if you sit on it that's gonna bend the, the mask and then the rubber did, did uh, crinkle and rip and all that so uh, that much about that then we have for cleaning and for disassembly disassembly is a tool and uh, for cleaning is those those fabric uh, we did not clean them like like uh, the US mask uh, say with with uh, some uh, fluid that you get simple and cheap by Walmart and uh, put a bit in water and and uh, clean it like like the US way we just had uh, water a little bit warm water and uh, soap and uh, yeah that that it never never uh, cleaned the mask too too well unfortunately then we have the item here is a uh, basically basically wax. It's a stick of wax, and this you gonna you gonna rub on the on the uh, glasses inside and outside. You can also uh, use it on your uh, personal glasses. That uh, as you as you put a bit on, you then take the the closing and uh, just wipe it, and uh, it's gonna protect the glass from getting a bit uh, 
a frosty look you know if you if you are outside the weather is cold then you go inside and usually the, the glasses have a bit of frosty look right from the temperature temperature uh, change and this this uh, wax prevent that and it really works I did test that on my own glasses uh, many times in Switzerland as we uh, did have to steel work and other other uh, work and uh, in and out and uh, that really comes in handy because otherwise you have to clean your your glasses and uh, wipe off that frosty uh, look that you actually can see and if you if you uh, do something or you hold on to something you you maybe don't have the hands free to do that so that is a good thing uh, everybody out there that that uh, has similar in and out from a uh, cold to a uh, warm then uh, try that out with a bit of a wax, a sweet double uh, wax, yeah, piece of wax that you put on, and then uh, then uh, wipe it a bit down with the uh, with the uh, closing, so it's it's all over the, the the glass. That really helps you a lot. And then we have like in the U.S. military, the sunshade that goes in front of it uh, those are basically just clip-on versions with three uh, clip uh, those are as best as I remember relative rare somehow they were only tested for a while and then not not uh, accepted by the military as best as I as I know and uh, they are really not not uh, common at all back then and uh, yeah, those those two, of course, we need a left and a right uh, because it's it's uh, that special shape. You uh, you need a left and a right. So the the mask itself has, of course, the threading in front. There is uh, where the filter comes. It goes straight in front, not on the side like the the mainly the U.S. mask. Uh, that is in our standards now uh, bad, but uh, back then, back then in the in the 90s, that was really good. And uh, of course, around here, we can uh, unwrap the item where you can drink. You put that on the on the uh, on the uh, canteen, right? We see in between is a bit of metal. It just wraps around like this and then then there is the, the hook the hook part here where the the strap goes over it and simply hook on it. That's all all what it is. So it's nice and tidy. Uh, here of course you breathe in on top you breathe out. No, no, sorry I was wrong on the uh, on the bottom you uh, you breathe out so uh, yeah that's that's uh, how that is quite likely for the they did not have a speaker so that's quite likely a bit that you can understand each other that's another drawback I don't know if if uh, the, the US military back then had the amplifier that I did already make a, a video of I think amplifier is a, a great device that you actually hear what the people say wearing the, the gas mask so yeah that tells you the size plus size the the straps are adjustable of course on the back side we have a netting this netting actually has a pretty pretty nice uh, quality the the US ones that I got they were not as nice as this one so that that is a is a really nice nice part here nice made but uh, maybe I did not get the absolute best ones in the uh, USA yet that could be too then as we fold it a bit over we see in the mask we see the gray part is for drinking and the the silver part that goes for speaking that has a kind of membrane as well and uh, yeah we see it has 
glasses, the, the inserts are in it. And on top is a manufacturing stamp. That's uh, how that is. It had back then a white thing. They did mark all, all uh, military items with that white white uh, thing in there. So uh, that uh, is like that. I left it on. And uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, pretty much all about the Swiss 90 mask uh, out of date now for sure it's a uh, the, the filter is gonna be in the way with accurate shooting <coughs> and uh, and uh, there is no amplifier you you cannot mount a US one there is no trade no nothing so so uh, it's it's by now out of date and uh, the manufacturer that did make those for the Swiss military uh, don't want to help or or uh, do much too that much for that thanks a lot and uh, yeah for me it's just just uh, a memory of the past <laughs>